And we are back. Time now, 4.30. Breaking news out of the East Bay. We have Interstate 880 shut down completely in both directions now near Marina Boulevard. And you're looking at live pictures from the scene. We had an earlier accident involving a big rig and possibly up to 10 cars, maybe more. We're still trying to get the latest details from the scene. We have Cron 4's Will Tran providing us with live updates. We have Cron 4's Eolia Seves giving us this shot here. And we have Cron 4's Jackie Sissel headed to the scene as well. We'll provide you comp comprehensive coverage of this from multiple angles. As we take a live look at this shot from Yolia Seves, I want to bring George Rask into the mix now as he's in studio following this latest uh, breaking details. George, what are you learning here at the moment? Well, the big problem, James, is the cleanup of this accident, and it became apparent to the CHP very quickly as they and other emergency vehicles responded to the scene that the only way they were going to deal with this accident and prevent more vehicles from getting involved was to completely shut down the freeway. And so, in fact, that's what they have done. They have closed down both the north and southbound lanes of Interstate 880. The big rig, which was traveling southbound, slammed into the center divider, kicking concrete degree into the northbound lanes. And it's believed currently that that's the reason why there are so many vehicles involved in this accident, because of the concrete debris that got kicked over. And, George, I understand we have Prof. Yolia Seves, who's giving us this shot now, mic'd up and ready to chat. Uh, let's bring her into the conversation. Yoli, you're giving us these shots. Describe what you're seeing and what you've seen develop here over the last few minutes. Well, I got to tell you, James, if you have to go through San Leandro, you're just going to want to avoid it entirely, whether you're going southbound or northbound, because they're both shut down. And you can see here, uh, this was the most severe case. This person that was in here uh, got airlifted out of here. Um, it's still unclear how bad his, uh, you know, how, how bad his injuries are. And several people got injured in this. As uh, George mentioned earlier, that the concrete caused a lot of accidents. I'm gonna uh, take the camera off the shoulder here for a second, if you just bear with me. I'm gonna show you something here. Now, I at least counted 13 cars involved here. Yoli, if you, can, if you can hear me, Yoli, what side of the freeway are you on right now? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, James, can you repeat that? Y yes, y Yoli, this is George. Which side of the freeway are you on right now? I'm on the southbound, so this is the southbound right here, and of course you saw this car got involved, uh, got, got into the accident with the big rig. The big rig crashed over around this area, and the big rig is still on the scene, but you can't see them because of this uh, fire truck that's right here, but they're on the other side of the freeway. Now I'm gonna just pan it over here, George, and you're gonna see all these cars are the ones that are involved right here. They, they all got into the accident, either hit each other or the concrete, and uh, I counted so far like maybe about 13 cars got involved. It's still not clear the total yet, uh, but they say about 13. I've been counting about 13 cars. 